Greetings, First English family and friends. Welcome to Monday, November 1st, uh, 2021, the start of a new month. It is All Saints Day, a uh, day we celebrate um, the saints in our lives. Um, yesterday, of course, was All Saints Eve, or All Hallows Eve, where we get the word Halloween. Hope you had a great weekend. Weather was pretty nice for the last weekend in October. Um, yeah, a little breezy yesterday. <laughs> We had, I think, 25 kids at our house uh, for trick-or-treat, uh, a lot more than the two that were here last year. Um, yeah. So I hope you had a chance to enjoy some of the kids coming to your door for candy, and also hope you had a chance to enjoy worship, either in person or online. So as we start a new month, we start again, as I said, with the All Saints Day, and uh, we'll uh, celebrate All Saints uh, Sunday, this uh, All Saints Week, I guess, you should call it because we'll do worship on Thursday too. Thursday and Sunday will be All Saints celebration. So, uh, getting on to the uh, devotional. Devotion today comes from, oh wait, check-in time. How are you all doing? I'm a little scatterbrained today, I guess. I need some coffee to wake up. How are you all doing? Leave a comment or a question below if you have one. I hope you're healthy and safe and well. I do have my coffee here. It's a fun mun. Fun Mug Monday uh, in honor of uh, go for women's hockey, go for uh, volleyball, go for men's hockey, go for football, all getting good wins this weekend. So cheers, church, and go Gophers. <laughs> okay. So devotion comes from the Word in Season, and the scripture reading is John 11, 32 to 44. This is the raising of Lazarus. John 11, 32 to 44. When Mary came where Jesus was and saw him, she knelt at his feet and said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, he was greatly disturbed in spirit and deeply moved. He said, where have you laid him? They said to him, Lord, come and see. Jesus began to weep. So the Jews said, see how he loved him. But some said, could not he who opened the eyes of the blind man have kept this man from dying? Then again, Jesus, then Jesus, again greatly disturbed, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone was lying against it. Jesus said, take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man said to him, Lord, already there is a stench, because he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed, you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus looked upward and said, Father, I thank you for having heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I have said this for the sake of the crowd standing here, so that, so that they may believe that you sent me. When he had said this, he cried, cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead man came out, his hands and feet bound with strips of cloth and his face wrapped in a cloth. Jesus said to them, unbind him and let him go. Okay, then from the word in season and our writer for uh, today is Hannah Lippard, Preston, United Kingdom from originally from Franklin, Tennessee. So the uh, theme verse, or well, the title is All Saints Day, appropriately enough. And the theme verse is uh, verse 44. Jesus said, unbind him and let him go. Mary and Martha, Lazarus' sisters, thought Jesus arrived too late to save their brother. Yet Jesus resurrected Lazarus days after his death and in front of a crowd. The event was so notable and dramatic that it led to people in power plotting to kill Jesus. If you read the rest of John 11, you'll get to that point where the, the, the Pharisees and the uh, leaders of the Jewish temple uh, have a plot to kill Jesus. So uh, keep reading uh, after this devotional, keep reading the rest of, of John 11. Uh, there we go. Okay, they were worried about people believing in him and it's easy to see why. Here was Jesus, God in God's power, 
and at the same time, Jesus in his humanity. When Jesus saw Lazarus' family and friends mourning, Jesus wept. The people who were there beheld Jesus in his grief and declared, see how he loved him. Indeed he did. And he loved the family and friends of, and, and all those who mourned. Then Jesus visited his friend's tomb. He called Lazarus by name and instructed the gathered crowd to remove the stone blocking, to, blocking the tomb and the cloth binding Lazarus's body. Lazarus was free to go. And the crowd witnessed the actions of a God who is not disinterested or detached. Jesus is a God who cares deeply about individual humans and even became one of us. That reminds me of the, the song, What If God Were One of Us? Just a slob like one of us, just a stranger on a bus. Yeah. God becomes one of us in Jesus and goes through all the human emotions that we do. Grief uh, for friends and family who are mourning, the grief for a friend who has died, and then, of course, joy at returning Lazarus to life and, and joy at all sorts of uh, situations in Jesus, like joy at the wedding where he provides wine for the couple. Um, yeah. Jesus in his humanity. I think sometimes we see Jesus, um, and rightfully so, as, as, as God, God's son, and, and therefore maybe a bit unapproachable. <laughs> but if we th remember that Jesus wept at his friend's uh, graveside, when we remember that Jesus uh, laughed and ate and, and had fun with his disciples, even, even as they frustrated him sometimes, when we remember the, the human side of Jesus, we can connect and maybe yeah, have a closer connection to, to Jesus in that way. Okay, so something to ponder on this All Saints Day as we remember the saints in our lives who have died in the past year. So be of strong heart and good courage this day, dear church. Keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Wash your hands, wear your masks. Do all that stuff, distance, and do all that stuff to keep yourself safe and healthy and well. Get the boosters and vaccines. Uh, we do these things to show love to our neighbor and share the light of Christ. Let's pray. God of life, thank you for loving us so much that you became human and lived alongside, of, alongside us. Amen. Blessings upon you this day. Peace.